Okay, everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Wonderful World of the IETF RFC. And the featured RFC this time is RFC 792, which is the Internet Control Message Protocol. And there's the search that you can use to get to it. Uh, you may note uh, when you see the front of it that it actually dates from the same time as RFC 791, which was our last featured RFC, and which sort of indicates they kind of go together, and they do, and which is one of the reasons I picked it for this week. Also, from the, uh, the DARPA research, so this one dates from, you know, the early days. So here's a couple of things to notice that are particularly um, prevalent in this RFC. I've got them pointed out there with the arrows and that this RFC uh, not only updates other RFCs, but is updated itself. So um, in this particular RFC, it updates 777, 760, and then, of course, it is updated by RFCs that came later. But again, this one dates from 1981, so you can sort of imagine that back there in those early days, couldn't think of everything. And maybe some ideas, as we'll see here, hint, hint, wink, wink, that some of the ideas that start off um, maybe didn't carry forward. Now, we also usually talk about ICMP error messages, but there are also informational types. So two flavors, but most of this is about, you know, telling us about something that went wrong. So here are a couple of fun ideas from the RFC. Now, RFC 760 is the original DARPA Internet Protocol RFC. So we did Internet Protocol last time, but remember that this one is tied to that particular RFC. RFC 760 actually replaces several Internet uh, or several documents that are called IENs or Internet Experimental Notes. So those sort of predate the RFCs. Those are some of the big ideas. And of course, that's when we see guys like John Postel and uh, that gang. Another fun part of this is that uh, there's something called the Internet Protocol Handbook, and it's just part of the history. And I thought I would encourage you to take a peek at that document, too. Here's a, a quote from uh, what this RFC is all about. Occasionally, a gateway or destination host will communicate with a source host and report an error. So that's what ICMP is primarily used for. There's all kinds of error messages uh, that are defined here in this particular RFC. Uh, and so what happens is that uh, it is actually implemented in every module that also does IP. So it's encapsulated in IP uh, datagrams, but there's no layer four protocol associated with this. And whenever you implement IP, you got to implement ICMP as well. A couple of more excerpts here. Remember that the, one of the fun points about IP is that it's not reliable. So ICMP is designed to help with that a little bit in that, oh, crap, something happened. Here's a message about what happened. So uh, this is really about error reporting. But as I said, there's a couple of informational messages as well. And when you do send a message, what you do is you send a chunk of the message that was uh, part of the error. So you do something, ICMP says this bad thing happened, and oh, by the way, here's the message that, that created it. There are no ICMP messages sent about ICMP messages. So if you send a message out and the destination unreachable message that was generated uh, doesn't get to you, there's no additional ICMP message as a result of the lost ICMP message. Also, if you have a whole bunch of fragmented uh, packets, just the first one is going to result in an ICMP message if it needs to be generated. And of course, we wouldn't be complete if we didn't show the encapsulation or the header. So the top image there, that is the header that's part of the RFC. They all share a basic uh, header, but then the type or the code tells us what's actually in the, uh, the message or what kind of message we're dealing with. And then uh, there's that 64 bits of the original datagram plus the IP header of the original datagram. And there's an actual example of an IP packet that is a destination unreachable. Well, let's bring this to a close. This has been about RFC 792 ICMP, but let's not forget that when we go to IP version 6, we have the fabulous ICMP version 6 that goes along with them, and those are in RFC 4443. Similar use, but the difference is lots of multicast. So multicast, advertisements, solicitations, oh my. And RFC, of course, can be updated or update other ones, but they're not necessarily exactly about the same thing. So in this case, the example is RFC set 950, 
is actually about subnetting, but it's tied to ICMP in some way. Lots of ICMP messages are no longer in use, so there are a couple of ROCs that are deprecating or getting rid of some of the old ICMP message. I think that'll about do it for our featured RFC. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and may your packets always reach their destination.